Ladies and gentlemen, SSEO here, and we are back at Spring Reserve. And this time we decided to go in an exhibition that includes a maze, mirror maze, and the exhibition itself after that is about patterns. So we're going to find out exactly what I mean by that in just a second. So hang on tight, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, got some. We are about to step into the maze here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm gonna right behind you, boss. You got control of the camera. What's your step? Don't collide in. Hello? Alright. How are you? Okay. Nice and easy. We gotta find the mass sequence here. Nice and easy. Now it changes colors here. Oh, wow. Step here. Oh, I, I think I'm in a dead end. So, ah, uh, there we go. We found one of the secrets here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got a little information. You gotta keep moving for the image to remain visible. Move your hand like that, see? Move your hand, see? It always appears. So, we found one of the secrets. We need to look around to find the other two. I'm already separated from the group here. Help! <laughs> Dear God. Yeah, it feels like I'm walking in circles. But I think if we go this way, let me see. Whoops. Yeah, I think we found out. Hey, there we go. We found another one right here. Keep waving your arm. Shape Utility Prize Artistry. What is this about? Poetry echoes the rhythm of songs. Shapes and vessels respect the original purposes. Well, this is a strange thing to find in a mirror maze. But of course, we're talking about the geometry of the pottery here in question, which we can take a look right now. Where I am. Okay, this. Oh, we found we found another one. Keep waving your hand so that it remains visible. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a. Oh, this is an exercise. Fill in the blank. A number. A number pattern is a series of numbers that occurs in a predictable way, like this Pascal's triangle. Okay. Now, on my way out of the maze, I found another one. Let's see what we got here. Like the two sides of our body, something is symmetric or if it looks the same on both sides. Okay. S snowflakes are symmetrical because the arms form under similarly conditions of temperatures and humidity. Alright guys, I believe now I can find my way out of the maze. It's right here. And we have survived. So if we walk on the other side of the maze, clearly it says maze bypass. Uh, this um, 
exhibition turned out to be related to patterns that you see in everyday life. We can see here patterns with personality, patterns in nature back there. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Building with patterns, okay. An unusual type of uh, up here we have patterns in culture. Okay. It is a pretty, uh, not the typical uh, exhibition, certainly not one that I'm accustomed of going to. Let's see what else is around. So what what do we have here? Okay. So let me let me let me try it. So I you have to match it. Okay. You got that one? No 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 no. You got it for this too. Jesus. Okay. Got it. Oh, I see. The Veroni design provides shade, style, and structural support. It is based on the traditional Chinese cracked ice pattern. Good. Also, we are in the drawing patterns gallery. Okay. You can see different patterns on the rocks and things like that. Next. Right. A single bubble is lightweight, but a bunch are strong enough to pile up in their top. Patterns, man, it's all about patterns. Yummy. Even the even patterns on the bones. <laughs> Spider patterns. That's awesome. Thanks. So what do we have here? Like a Tom Cruise. Remember? Oh. It's a text movement in your hand. Yeah. If you put it right here over this area right here. Raise your hand. Oh, gotcha.
Okay, pressing button to begin. So what we're going to do is take each of these big triangles and break it up into little triangles, and break those little triangles up into littler triangles until they get down to the point where you can't see triangles anymore. We turn the fractal process loose and instantly it looks natural. And boy, we had discovered a method of making curved surfaces, very nice curved surfaces, so it's applying it to airplanes. And one of the listening photos have mountains behind the airplanes. So I wanted to uh, be able to put a mountain behind my airplane to show that these mountains were real and live in the sense that you can move around them with the camera. But um, I had no idea of mathematics and how to do that. And Bell's book came out. He had pictures that showed what fractal mathematics could produce. And so, wow, all I have to do is find a way to implement this mathematics on my computer and I can make pictures of mountains. I made in uh, 1980. We went from about 100 triangles to about 5 million. 
And I knew that it was a major discovery. Uh, my heart skipped. Well, all right, huh? Turn the knobs to create your fractal mountain. Division. Divisions on three. Okay. Texture now. Okay, divisions. Break the triangles into smaller triangles to form a mountain shape. Let's see. Texture. There we go. Haze changes the mountain's elevation. Oh, I went all the way to. Uh, let's drop it down to 50. Let's put it on 50. And texture that I'm, what I'm doing now controls the mountain's jaggedness and how realistic it appears. Let's put it right down on 50. Watch, rinse, repeat. Okay. Divisions on 5. Textures on 50. Let's put it on half. Okay, we can go all the way into 100. Let's go ahead and put it on... 50%. There it is. Oh, and the rotate. The mountain becomes more realistic with each division. That's fractal math and action. Let's turn her around. If something is in smooth or straight or round, it might be fractal. Okay. From tiny pebble to mountain peak, fractals are present when the same shape appears at multiple scales. Okay. Okay, we're kind of like behind the mountain now. All right. Let's move to the next activity.
that's it for this video here about Spring Preserve. I hope you guys enjoyed and until the next time people. Peace out everybody.